Okay, today we are going to create on the cheap. I'm using Crayola markers, my jelly plate, and envelopes. Now we could easily draw on our envelopes and make designs, but this is just kind of a little bit more fun. I just use the cheap Crayola markers, give it a light mist, and stamp. Now I can pick any other color. I can just color it in splotches. You always want to try to not mess up your yellow. And we're going to put some orange. A light mist and I'll just stamp this over here now the misting kind of helps you get a watercolor look and you're not going to get that if you just use the markers so there we got that now there's so many other things you can do I mean I like the doing something like this My misting this time is going to be way high because I want it really light. I'm going to take another envelope. And there you go. And you can see through the plastic block I'm using as a holder for my jelly plate what you're going to have when you're done. And there you go. That is how I do all the different decorations that's going to be on the pages of my new little envelope journal. So here are some of my pages that I am going to use in my little journal. And here is what I've done. After I've stamped and I used my square jelly plate and my round one to do the stamping, I'm just going to doodle on them draw on and play with them. I like to use my uh, Posco marker and just make some marks. You can outline things you've already put on there. You can do some spirals. There's no right or wrong. Whatever makes you happy. Sometimes more is good and sometimes less is good. Not very often is less good, but sometimes. Another thing that I just found, like I said, we were going to work on the cheap today. And this is pretty cheap. I found these really cool crayons. I've never used the gel crayons of any sort. And I bought them mostly to play with my grandkids. And I love them. I need more. These were five bucks at the store five below which we don't have here so one thing I like doing with these was like you can take this and just color in and then spread it around and yeah my fingers are already dirty so I'm getting other colors and you can just put whatever you want whatever design and add more colors so I took these and I added more colors in the corners and different spots everywhere. And it really helped colorful them up. They look watercolory. And now all I have to do is just draw some lines and make some marks on it. And I can even come back with the plain old Crayola markers and add a spiral here and there too. So. We have a 97 cent package of markers. Kids markers nonetheless. But they are really fun and we're pretty juicy. And hey, now's the time to buy them. And I have my $5 set of gel crayons that are amazing. And all of that makes this beautiful color. I hope you enjoy. Okay, I have eight envelopes decorated. A few of them I left without doodles 
because you know if I keep it then I can doodle on it and if I give it away someone else can doodle on it so now to make the cover I have some muslin fabric that I have dyed and painted it and played with it's been wipe off cloth and everything I am going to take these two pieces of cardboard and put a little bit of glue on them and put this piece of fabric so they match up yep I used scrap cardboard and line these up just the way I want them put this on and now I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew around in through each cardboard and I will stitch each signature into place and the book will be finished. So here we are with all the signatures sewn in and I have decided it's a little bit plain so I'm going to decorate it and take the jelly plate and put just a little bit of paint on there. This time I'm using acrylic paint because I'm putting it on fabric and I want it to stay. So I'm just going to brayer that. I'm going to take another inexpensive tool, a little eraser, and I'm going to make some lines on my round jelly plate. And anyone who's been following me for a little bit realizes we had to use orange because there's not very much orange on the cover. And orange is like the best color ever. So I'm going to take this and I am going to stamp it down on my cover. Firm even pressure. I love using the little jelly plates as stamps. And there, it's not much, just adds a little bit of color. I'm gonna do that to the other side, and when I get done, I'll give you a flip through and explain to you all I've done to the pages. So here is the finished journal. With the fabric that I used on the cover, I tore another strip and used it just to tie it. I made the cover a little big, and I wasn't real happy with that, but I didn't want to redo it, so I put some tabs on pages so they kind of fill in the space and make it look like it's supposed to be that way. So all the pages are envelopes and they have been split on the top. My biggest tip is when you sew them in, make sure they all go up if you plan on using them as pockets. We won't go into why I know that. All the pages have just been decorated or left plain some of them I figure I can doodle on as I go. I've sewed fabric onto some edges and jelly strips cut from another paper on other edges. And they're all just kind of wild and crazy. But you can take and stick cards or ephemera, little collage pictures, and this could be your stash for all your collage. There's my book. Enjoy. Thank you.